Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our team. Uh, I'm your sexy ranch hand co-host Calderness. This week I'm going to be building out of the Thor Ragnarok movie set and Simeon, you're building out of what? Oh, good old Rest in Peace, the Undead set. Yeah. This is going to be our tiebreaker finale round for the the Thursday throwdown that we are all used to. Thursday throwdown as we know it, some could say. Uh, so we both have equal wins in the carded Golden Age era with the special dials on the back cards. So this is it. This is the tiebreaker round. Simeon, why don't you jump into your team, Undead team? Yeah, so first up is a figure from the Earth X set. This is Chase Captain America. Who allows my team to be a name mm -hmm. team? No, no, very funny. His leadership yeah. and mm -hmm. other stuff. Uh, no, uh, we'll go go in, in order of importance of votes. So, uh, good old Bimmy and Sruce voted for this vampire who starts on click three for twenty five points. Thank you, Bimmy and Sruce. He is indomitable, which is impressive for a twenty five point piece, and his whole dial is. Uh, exploit weakness so there's that as well um he's got some stealth and if i can manage to trick calder into getting next to him long enough that i can heal him up then he'll eventually have charge so uh he also he does ignore uh hindering terrain so that's nice but yes uh surprisingly everyone on this team is a monster so i do have that going for it um next up is the chase ghost of abraham lincoln he barely appears because Ooh. he's a ghost you can hardly see his sculpt um Ooh. so since he's a ghost he ignores blocking and ignores characters for movement uh he does have the flight symbol but he can only carry other characters with the ghost realm keyword regardless of speed symbols uh, he's got the ghastly chill speed power which is free choose an opposing character that ghost of abraham lincoln moved through this turn, unique modifier, the chosen character modifies its attack minus two, which is one of my favorite things about the ghosts in this set. Uh, he has incapacitate the Gettysburg Address. When the Ghost of Abraham Lincoln uses it as a close, he targets all opposing characters within four squares in line of fire. So it's like a kind of like a infinite target with four range mm. kind of thing, but he does have to have a line of fire. So that's cool. Um, he also has... In his mid-dial section, uh, I'm playing him at 125 points. In his mid-dial, he has the four score and seven years ago that uh, the, I think, uh, the Hot Ones Abraham Lincoln that I used also had this power. So if a uh, friendly character rolls a four or a seven in the attack, I can either give an action token to the opposing character that was targeted, or I can remove an action token from the attacker. So... That's a fun little mid-dial power that he has. Um, one of the few characters in the set with Impervious as well. Possibly the only one. I can't remember. Um, next up, mm. Generic Skeleton. He's 25 points, and he does what he does. Uh, unique modifier. Adjacent friendly characters with a Skeleton Army keyword modify damage plus one. Pretty fun. Um, that'll help with my Skeleton Champion who uh, also has that unique modifier. So they both boost their own damages. Uh, nice. Each other's damages. Uh, this one has blades and charge and leadership and invulnerability, whereas this one's just a little bit harder to hit and no blades, so he's just doing standard damage. Um, then we've got Frankenstein's Monster for only 60 points, also as Indomitable. Charge, Super Strength, Battle Fury is whole dial. At the beginning of your turn, roll a d6. On a 4 through 6, Frankenstein's monster may immediately make a close attack. Pretty fun. It's a 50-50 chance. Uh, he also has my creator. Friendly characters with the scientist keyword can use support to target Frankenstein's monster. When a character with the scientist keyword targets Frankenstein's monster with support, his defense value is 14 for that action. If that character is named Dr. Frankenstein, he can use support even if he or Frankenstein's monster are adjacent to an opposing character. So... Really great combo, and of course, mm. I do have Dr. Frankenstein, so 
Um, that nine attack will only need to roll a five to support the Frankenstein's monster back up. Pretty good combo, um, as long as Dr. Frankenstein can stay in the game. He has It's Alive, support as free, but only to target characters with the monster keyword, which is everyone on this team. When Dr. Frankenstein uses it, increase the d6 result by one. So it's minimum two, but potentially five, I guess. Um, because I can technically roll a 7 with that. I don't know. Uh, Mad Scientist is his damage power. He's got Perplex, but only to target characters with the monster keyword. If his target is named Frankenstein's monster, Dr. Frankenstein can modify a combat value by plus 2 or minus 2 instead. Why I would ever minus 2 anything, I do not know. Uh, next up is Death. This is a really fun character. So he's mm. got the Ghost Realm keyword. That means I can carry him with the Ghost of Abraham Lincoln. That is the only character that Ghost of Abraham Lincoln can carry. He ignores hindering terrain for movement. He has the Harbinger, Harbinger of Death trait, which is when an opposing character takes damage from an attack made by a character with the monster keyword, after resolutions, deal that character one unavoidable damage. If that character is not KO'd, immediately heal it one click, which is cool way to get around most stop clicks mm. um doesn't really get around most other things because you'll just immediately heal it up but if you're like if i do hit you to like your last click so on this guy it would be click six then you do take the one unavoidable and just die as well so um mostly useful against stop clicks but can also just be useful that is nice and then he's got traded uh blades claws flang flangs ugh. And Giant Reach 2, Blades, Claws, Fangs, yes. Uh, giant Scythe that he's harvesting souls with. That is uh, everyone on my team. We are going to be starting off over here. Right on. In the World War II jungle map, which was the closest thing I could find to a spooky uh, monster. It's got some mist. Yeah, there's mist, there's bushes. Yeah, it's got a little stream that Frankenstein can drown people in. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Sure. It's a pretty neat place. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, next up, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Let's get let's get into the Thor Ragnarok movie, shall we? Starting us off with Fenris Wolf. Uh oh. Um, Asgardian theme team. I actually didn't know if this character was gonna have Asgardian or not. So we have a named theme team. Very happy about that. Uh, some charge blades exploit. He's got a trait. Swallow you whole. Each time Fenris Wolf KOs an opposing character after resolutions, give it a growth token. If it has one growth token, it has giant. If it has two or more growth tokens, it has colossal. If it has three or more growth tokens, modify all combat values by plus one. Pretty fun trait. See if we can pull it off. I've he has a happen. special defense power for his first three clicks, which is monstrous wolf, super senses, and toughness. And then he has a special attack power on his last three, which is powerful jaws, blaze claws, fangs. When Fenris Wolf uses Blades, Claws, Fangs, increase the result of the D6 by the number of growth tokens it has. So I shouldn't just stop counting after three on the growth tokens just for the sake of this attack power, but also I don't know if we'll be able to even get higher than three. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Next up is the Grand Master. I was surprised so many people specifically voted for this Grand Master um, and not the other one, but here we are. Uh, so this one has holographic protection as a trait. Grandmaster's actions don't count against their action total. His combat values can't be modified, and he takes a maximum of one damage from a ranged attack. Hey, Simeon, how many ranged attackers do you have on your team? Ooh, I think I've got a... Let's see. Well, uh, Ghost of Abraham Lincoln can do that ranged in-cap thing. Um... Okay. So other Not than doing that, damage that though. So counts as close when he does it. So zero, zero. Oh, okay. So never mind. Awesome. Very cool. Then very cool defense. So he's got just a sixteen with nothing, uh, pretty much. Oh no, wait. I don't have an Asgardian theme team. Excuse me. Grandmaster breaks it. Cosmic Elder of the Universe ruler. Simeon still one map. We still let that happen legally. But no, no theme props for me. Uh, his second trait is Master Manipulator. At the beginning of your turn, you may turn Grandmaster to another click. If you do at the end of your turn, roll d six and turn Grandmaster to that click number. He can't be healed in any other way. Uh, so I'm not going to turn him to any clicks just yet. It's a little scary. It's a little scary. Um, so yeah. But it is interesting options. Uh, next up, we have Odin. 
Odin, AKA Loki. We're not doing the plus 25. He's very simple. He's got sidestep leadership mastermind. He has a trait gain Odin's favor. Each time a friendly character, the Asgardian keyword hits an opposing character, immediately give them an Odin's favor token. From the characters with one or more Odin's favor tokens, modify attack value plus one. They don't get removed at any point in time, so it's just a really sweet uh, power. Next up, we have Hela, the, the main villainess herself. She has a trait, I have brought the army of the dead to the gates of Asgard. Hela starts the game with a rise token. When a character that isn't a bystander is KO'd, heal Hela one click and give her a rise token. Free, remove a rise token and generate a fallen warrior bystander. It's an exclamation point. I got to do it. Um, so yeah, she gets to pop out these little dudes. They're okay. Um, 10 for 2 charge. They're all right. They're not amazing. But starting with a rise is very helpful. So it's pretty cool. Next up, we have Heimdall. Heimdall has a trait. Come with me to safety. Phasing teleport. When Heimdall uses it, he has passenger 3, but only to carry characters with the Asgard keyword. Pretty solid. Uh, he has a special defense power, Eyes of the Eagle, Super Senses. When Heimdall uses it, he gets to roll 2d6 and choose one to be the result, which is just really freaking good. And then we have good old Thor here. Uh, Thor is the main character of the story, so it was best to save him for last. He has a trait, Allies in the Gladiatorial Arena, knock back, free, make a close attack, but only to target an opposing character that was already knocked back at least one square by another friendly character this turn. Uh, not having that Hulk to go with him means I don't have a ton of options for knockback at all, I think, besides doubles. So that trait probably won't trigger. Um, but it's cool. It's got charge blades and whatever. But that is, that's that's the might of Asgard. And then one from Sakaar. So Simeon, by all means, yes. take us away. Man. Oh, we built two 400 points, like a, by the way, everybody. Yeah, 400 points. Uh, it's a really good thing that there wasn't like a much cooler Thor that appeared in that movie. Like maybe like later on. Yep. After the trailers that they could have made a sculpt of. Sure is great. There was only this lame Thor that had swords. Yeah. That's the only version of Thor in Ragnarok. Not one that was like destroying. Sure is cool that he never had. He never had any other allies besides Valkyrie and Heimdall. <laughs> nope. No other allies. Yeah. And Hela definitely didn't have anybody else helping her besides a wolf. Yep. They didn't, true, they didn't yeah. miss the mark with this set at all. Ha-ha. All right. Very funny. Ha-ha. <laughs> um, we're going to have Ghost of Abraham Lincoln carry death. So he can go six squares out. We'll go two, four, six is perfect. We'll plop him down right in that hindering there. Oh, spooky. Yes. It's very hard to see. So funny. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in. So oh, but if you cool. zoom up, you can see it. I'll be darned. Yeah, wow. There's definitely to me, it something like there, nothing, but it is very ghosty. Huh. Um, Strange. Let's see. My vampire can ignore hindering terrain, so he is on click three, which I need to make sure that his click pad is on click three, because it is not right now. There we go. Much better. Six speed. Uh, we're going to treat all this orange terrain that's on the map as just blocking because can't tell what it's supposed to be. But it looks, yeah, looks like it's basically just brown. So uh, six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. He will go there. And I'm pretty sure my skeletons do not ignore anything, so that's a little rough. Uh, let's see, we're at two actions right now. I do have a leadership with skeleton champion, so I should be able to move out everyone this turn. One, two, three, four. Nope, not quite. Skeleton generic guy is going to move full speed at six squares. That's the one really big downside of the undead set is... They really needed solid taxis because they're all super slow, especially the zombies. Zombies are like four speed, which is good for zombies, mm -hmm. but bad for playing them against fast people. Um, I think Frankenstein's monster will move up 
he's got a lot of life to live, so we will go one, two, three, four, five, six with him. We'll sidestep Dr. Frankenstein, one, two, and then we'll move out my skeleton champion, his speed, which is a whopping six as well, so... Let's see, where's a good place for him to go? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna go hang out with the vampire, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, off to a good start. I don't think Calder can quite reach me. I definitely counted it out to make sure. All right. I mean, that's a pretty fair assessment. Yeah, I don't think either of these teams all right. is yeah. flashing across Yeah, the we don't have nutty reach or anything. Um, I'm just going to have Heimdall carry everybody up. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we're going to have him sidestep here in a second. Let's see, how far does this big guy move? Okay. I think it's pretty safe to sidestep. Hmm. I don't want to shuffle these people around. Eight, eight, and two. Probably something like that. And we'll phase. Oh, yeah, I'm this token. Phase the Grandmaster to there. He'll perplex up Thor's defense. Hmm. See Odin. One, two. I want Odin move to here. Yep, it is your go. All right. I will roll leadership with my skeleton champion. He is the leader of this team, being almost the cheapest figure on it. Hey, that's a five. It's not nothing. Uh, I'll take it off of the vampire, since that is the only person I put him next to. Uh, my vampire is then... Let's see. Such a pitiful little man, but um, enough about me. My vampire is going to go six squares, one, two, three, four, five. He's just going to guard this bridge over here, uh, much like a troll. But in this case, it's a twilight man. Um, only one vote for a zombie. Hmm. Okay, um, let's sidestep Dr. Frankenstein. He's going to go one two into that hindering there generic skeleton i need to double check who all has indomitable i think it's just frankenstein's monster and vampire i believe yeah even ghost of abraham lincoln at his whopping 125 points does not have it uh we'll sidestep death to there Um, mm. I think everyone else is going to have to pretty much clear. I should move Dr. Frankenstein so he can go six, coming out of hindering. Let's go. Whoops. One, two, three, four. No, nope, I said six. So he can move three. He'll go one, two, three, like that. Yep, that's how action tokens go. Um, 
heal perplex up. I guess vampire's the closest, so he'll perplex up the vampire's defense. And then I will have to clear everybody. Because I'm not going to push people just to move them. There are a lot of Indom on that Asgard team of yours. Um, Thor, or Hela, and the Wolf all have Indom, mm. so it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, let's see. Let's see where we're at right here. Hmm. Uh, let's do leadership with what's his face, Odin. Let's roll my dice. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and sidestep Hella to here. Cool. Let's uh. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Let's perplex up. up her. Let's perplex up her attack value, and let's try to shoot uh, Doctor Frankenstein. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. You would dare out. Uh, Eleven to a seventeen. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Very cool. Uh, a crit miss means Hella is going to take damage. That's that's about right. Very cool. In my head, I was like, I could switch what's his face to prob. Let's just keep him on perplex. I'll only need to roll six. All right. Very cool. That is a action token for Hella. Uh, she needs to be out of Odin's favor. She deserves negative points for everything. Um, the dog. Probably the dog is going to do something. Go for it. Mm, I suppose. All right, the dog. One, two, three to there. Gonna try to blades on this vampire boy. All right. He's at a whopping eight. It is an 11. With no reducers. Okay. That will hit and cause knockback. I will. I will prob that with uh, the ghost of Abraham Lincoln. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. Very good. I couldn't tell where he was because he's a ghost, but oh, that's a. Uh, that will that. crit hit, uh, and then we'll also roll blades to see if this guy can eat you. Yeah, he's super. Oh, dead. baby! Oh, I just gave him the devil's dick. That's the first time I've ever made it happen. It's when you crit hit and roll six on blades. Oh, nice. Sorry for uh, shouting, listener, especially saying a very weird thing. It's a very old podcast reference to the Clicks TV podcast. Um, nice. Very cool. Uh, so now I get to give this guy a wall you hold. It's a growth token. So he now has one growth token, so he's now a giant. Very cool. It's one, two actions so far. Very happy with that. I'm going to sidestep Odin to here for right now. Thor can only charge one, two, three, four. Four squares. Eleven. Get up all up in that business store. One, two, three, four. We go there. That's reaching. It's reaching pretty hard with all Thorzy here. I think we're just gonna keep Thor there. We'll sidestep carry with Heimdall. Move Thor here. Clear Heimdall. Clear. Uh, Odin and Fenris also clear. has a favor token. Grandmaster. Oh, he does have an Odin's favor token. You are correct. Which is going to be real rough if uh, not dealt with swiftly and violently. Um, not that I can do anything about it, but yeah. Uh, let's see here. 
No reason to roll leadership. My skeleton champion is way out of leadership range. And let's see. Frankenstein's monster can do something this turn. Generic skeleton is definitely not speedy enough to do anything this turn. One, two, three. Nope. Uh, Ghost of Abraham Lincoln might do something this turn. That might be worth it. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe worth it. Hard to tell. Uh, let's see. Does Fenris have the monster keyword? Um, let me see. Probably animal. That's the quick pad. He has animal and as guardian. Uh, I was gonna see if I could just. Oh, and a person ra a person died, so I get to add a rise token to Hella. Ah. A rise token. Um. Actually, that's two rise tokens. Let's just sink all of our chips in one basket. And we will double perplex Doctor Doctor Frankenstein will double perplex up Frankenstein's monsters damage, and mm. he's going to charge the big bad wolf. So you can go okay. one, two, three, four squares. Uh, yeah, he's just an eleven. He does have super strength. Not that that'll do anything, but uh, he's an 11 right. into your... 11 team. to an 18. Yeah. All right. Need a big 7 to do something. That will hit. Uh, let's do super senses then. I cannot prop it. That is a 4. How much damage? So that'll do, he'll be doing five on his own, and then you'll take one unavoidable afterwards from death. And if that doesn't KO you, then you heal it back. All right, so I take four because of toughness, then one more, I don't die. Okay. Then I heal back to click five. Okay. All right. What's he rocking now? He's got 17 toughness with sidestep. Mm. Not super worried that he's going to eat anything this next turn because Vampire Baron was very easily to chew. But I know we, we really we overly for yeah for his growth token. So he's getting you for at least two damage, two exploit, and he does have Odin's favor, so he does have the twelve does have attack. A much easier time attacking now, so. I think I will sidestep death to here and attempt to blades mm. with death. Uh, so he's got precision strike okay. with a 10 attack and traded blades. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll probably have to roll blades. Otherwise, I'm just doing one. So if I hit 10 attack, yeah. That is a 16. Oh, that will miss. I will prob that mm. one with the good old ghost of Abraham Lincoln. Ah, okay. oh, yes, that will hit. All right. And my blades say, hopefully not a one or two. Again, need it to be a one. Ah, a two. A two. I take one, and then do I do your thing for yours as well, or is that only other monsters? That is, opposing character takes damage from an attack made by a character with the monster keyword. So, oh. yeah, you'll take one yeah, from so here, monster keyword, and then yeah. one unavoidable. That will take out the Fenris Wolf. And now, I have much less things to do because that was pretty much my entire attacking force uh ghost of abraham lincoln who is my biggest threat 
probably Thor with his blades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't really want to put myself right up in your stuff, but uh, we will move the ghost of Abraham Lincoln six squares into Thor's square and then one back. Mm -hmm. So seven whole squares there. And then we'll give Thor a minus two to attack. And hopefully not regret that a lot. Uh, that's three actions. We'll move this skeleton. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'll move up. More fodder for the undead army. And then my last skeleton, the champion, will also move six. Yes. This map may have been a mistake for my team. There is a lot of a lot of pincher uh pincing, I guess you would say. Uh, and then I will clear the good old doctor and pass the turn back over to you. Let's see what leadership Odin can do here. Two. Um, also being the turn, I think we're going to move Grandmaster. I think we're going to move him to his outweigh click. Mm. We'll click three. I'm going to try to sidestep breakaway with Heimdall here. Do you don't have any uh, plasticity, does he? No. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's go ahead and have the Grandmaster phase. You can get one more to here. Uh, we're going to outwit Abraham Lincoln's impervious. Mm. Um, then we're going to have Hella remove a rise token and make a fallen warrior right there. Goes down to one rise token. I guess actually it would be back up to two since you killed one of my guys. So it goes from three to two. We're going to have that warrior take a swing on Abraham Lincoln here. And that will hit a 17. I think it'll miss. Yes, right. He is an 18 currently. Yep. All right. We'll do the token here. Ah, shoot. Well, we can still have Hella move. Let's go ahead. Let's have Heimdall now take a swing on Abraham Lincoln. Hmm. Ooh, that will hit an 18. How much damage is Heimdall doing? Uh, he does three damage. Okay. My clicks pad is here. I'm four scoring it now. Okay. That 18 senses. Let's have Thor go for it. He'll need a nine. Heimdall also gets an Odin's favor token. Give that to Heimdall. Give Heimdall an action token. And yeah, let's have uh, let's have Thor see what he can do. Nine to an eighteen. Ow, oh, fudge! Thor mm. crit misses on Thor. Yikes! Uh, Odin's Odin's uh, offspring are pretty pretty terrible. Now I know this isn't actually Odin. I know it's Loki, but still, I would be a very disappointed father. Uh, yeah. In not they only are, my son but my daughter as well. Not having a good time. Shut up! Please stop! Shut up! Everything you say, but just stop it. Uh, Hella, we'll sidestep to here. I uh, will punch death. I suppose Ooh, ten to whatever versus. Uh, just ghost. Right. 
got an 18 invincible right now. Uh, hits a 17. 18, so that'll miss by one. Odin's kids are bad. Uh, we'll sidestep Odin to here. One, two, three, four actions. Odin could do something, actually. No, nope, he's a zero for zero, so never mind. It is your turn. Simeon. Oh, no, I got to roll. Well, for the Grandmaster, he goes to whatever click this is. Click three. He is on click three. Very cool. Okay. Let's see. Leadership will not matter. Um, I think on click, I'm on click four with Abraham Lincoln. I still have my cool in cappy power, but I do not have... Yeah, I do not have any indom, so I'm not sure if I want to push off of that. I don't think it'd be worth it. It's not like it'd change my dial any. I just wouldn't have it later. Um, but I could in-cap both the Fallen Warrior and Thor. How does this work? How is it worded? Uh, incapacitate when Ghost of Abraham Lincoln uses it as close. He targets all opposing characters within four square and line of fire. So I would not be able to target Heimdall, even though I could just target him with a close right now. Um, I wouldn't be able to target him and the others. Let's... Hmm. Very interesting. I think I will start off with attempting to sidestep death. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do if I can. Okay, he can sidestep. Let's see. Might want to just try and blast Grandmaster. So sidestep one, two. Ten into your sixteen. No. 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 <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Um, I don't know. There's a square between us. It sure does look like a ranged attack to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hit me hit me with your best shot here. Uh, okay. Be, Very cool. Hit. Uh, we'll see what my damage says. Blades oh, man. Is... Please be like a three or less. Ah. Ah, fudge. That is going to be all they wrote. The Grandmaster. You have been. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, that is a push on death, though. So he will take one damage. Sadly, my only monster with steel energy uh, stole no energy, and he is just gone. Uh, mm. Let's see. Death here. Man, I really do not miss these clicks pads when we don't have to use them. Um, Frankenstein's monster, he is in Dom, so he is definitely going to mm. do something yeah. this turn. Let's... Sidestep Dr. Frankenstein to here. Hopefully not regret that. We will... What is Hella rocking? She's taken damage from crit missing, so... Mm -hmm. 18. I'll only deal one damage if I don't do anything about that. So, yeah, we'll have to double perplex up good old Dr. Good old uh, Frankenstein's monsters damage again. So he'll be an 11 oh for boy. 5. We will charge. Let's see here. 1, 2, to right there. Uh, yeah, no more prob, so it's just an 11 mm -hmm. into an 18. 11 on 18, 7. Five. Ooh, very lucky on my part. Now I have to figure out if it's worth pushing any of these other people. I'm guessing not for the skeleton. The 10 for 2 isn't amazing. It's not really going to get me anywhere. Thor has Invuln, I think, right? Yeah, so I'm not doing anything. Oh, he does, yeah. Now. And Fallen Warrior has a 19, so... Not really worth it there. Yeah, I think I will just clear. Uh, 
once again, my only two real attackers so far have been Frankenstein's monster and death. Uh, clear my skeleton champion. I can't believe my 25-point vampire had Indom, but right. my 50-point skeleton champion does not. Who the funk? Man. Uh, let's roll leadership with Odin. Ah! Uh. Ah, uh, looks pretty cocked to me. There we go. It's a good roll. That is what it is. All right, cool. Let's see. Uh, Heimdall's not doing anything. He doesn't have an Indom. So it's a, kind of a Thor turn here. Let's have Thor give it his all. Ten against... Uh, let's go for Ghost of Abraham Lincoln here. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, that will hit. That's an 11. Go ahead and roll uh, Super Senses. Super Senses so, from the Ghost Realm, say. Uh, a 2. Ooh, thank goodness it's a 2. So Thor will get Noden's favorite token, and he'll Blades for, for five. 5 damage. Ouch. It's a good thing I've got this extra super long dial, because... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5... I am still alive on click nine. Oh my. That's surprising there, I would say. Let's see. All right, click nine's pretty doable. Uh, let's give Thor an extra action token. He has 16 defense. I think I'll push the Fallen Warrior to uh, try to kill him. Tendu is 16 here for two damage. Ooh. Oh, that will hit. Let's see, what do I have for my defense right now? I believe it is absolutely nothing. Uh, energy shield deflection. So you were shooting at me, correct? That will miss. Uh, I was punching you. Uh, uh, so damage. it's very smart that it says when a character that isn't a bystander is KO'd. Um, oh, I should have been healing Hella one. So I get to heal Hella a click right now for killing you which is nice for her. And then I give her another rise token. So she's up to three now because you died. All right, cool. And then I can make another person here. I only have two damage since they can attack Frankenstein's monster or death, um, sadly. So she'll try to sidestep breakaway from Frankenstein's monster, see what we can do. That was not a roll. There we go. Two, so can't move. So we're just gonna use it. Let's put the little guy here, and let's try have him try to charge breakaway. That will do it. Uh, he will charge uh, to here, punching Doctor Frankenstein. I passed this monster. Going for the big bad doctor himself. He's a 10 for 2. And that'll hit a 17. That will hit him for 2 damage. That's 1, 2, 3 actions so far. Alright, so she needs to go down to 2 on her dice. And then... Let's have Odin sidestep over to here. Let's clear Heimdall, and let's clear Hela. And I think it is your turn. All right. I'm not sure if I forgot. Well, I know I forgot this, but I'm not sure if I was in position to do it last time. Um, but Frankenstein has the trait... Arr. I don't, that sounded more like Chewbacca. Um, at the beginning of my turn, on a 4 through 6, I can immediately make a close attack. So I'm going to roll for that first. Hey, there you go. Now he's remembering things, this guy. That's a 5, so I do get to make a close attack. Um, I kind of want to get rid of this Fallen Warrior. Mm -hmm. And I kind of want to deal hella damage. I think the Fallen Warrior is probably the bigger threat. An 11 into a 19, I'd need an 8. I'll go for that. Attacking the Fallen Warrior with my immediate close free attack thing. 
Ah, that'll hit an 18, Ooh. which would have dealt one damage to Hella, but we missed. missed. I just, just that one. Um, no reason to roll leadership. Let's see here. My skeleton can't do enough damage. My skeleton champion can. He has blades. So I think he should probably attempt to take out this warrior. I guess I can perplex up damage on the other one. Um, instead, let's perplex up attack with mm -hmm. my skeleton. On my skeleton champion, he's going to charge. Let's go one, two... Yeah, he doesn't ignore hindering, so I don't want to pop him in hindering if I don't have to. Go two squares to there. He will be, hopefully, an 11. I cannot remember his dial. Uh, yes, an 11, so he also needs an 8 to hit. I'm going to go ahead and knock okay. his blades for this one. I'm feeling confident in my 2 damage. Oh, what a, what a guy. That is exactly an eight. And you got it. Get rid of the fallen warrior. Get rid of the um, little token. I can't really do a whole lot else. Let's see. Let me double check death here. Takes damage. So if I don't damage him, it doesn't do anything. Let's see. I will move Dr. Frankenstein back one square. He no longer has sidestep. Uh, let's attempt to break my regular skeleton for charge. Okay. A two. Nope. He will stay exactly where he is. And... I will clear my Frankenstein's monster, and I will clear my death. Mm. Right on. Let's do some leadership with Odin. That's not how you roll leadership. Ooh, big six. Get to take a token off Thor. Nah, we'll fix it. We'll move anyways. Maybe we'll, maybe we won't. We don't know. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's have Hela make a Fallen Warrior here. We'll try to hold charge breakaway thing again. Change the rotational value to one. See if it can finish off the good doctor. Uh, let's have Hella do her own sidestep breakaway. See if she can finish off the good doctor. Ooh, nope. And Heimdall can't sidestep. So Heimdall's going to sidestep over to here, all up in Death's business. And we'll have Heimdall punch Death. He is in Odin's favor, so it'll be an 11. To a 17. Uh-oh. Need a big six. Ooh, that'll miss Heimdall. That is a shame. It's a real shame. And then let's have Hella try to punch. Yeah, I guess we will have her try to punch uh, Frankenstein's monster. 10 to an 18. That will Ooh, hit. that will hit for three damage. All right. He has invulnerability, so he's only going to take one after uh, let's get rid of this uh, and then I guess we could use Paul Moyer after that but that is what it is uh, Hella did hit she'll get an Odin's favor token finally plink so pretty much all the, I mean, all the Odin's favors are handed out no one else can get them Odin doesn't really get them so 
Let's see now. Uh, no one died this turn yet. Thor can still do something. He's plus one. The skeleton dude has combat reflexes, right? Yes. 19. You roll an eight. Very annoying. 25 points. Let's see. Mm. Let's see if Thor can charge breakaway. Uh, nope. We cannot move for the life of us. All right. It is what it is. And Heimdall did something. Hella did something. All my guys did something. It is your go, Simeon. All right. I'm going to roll, roll my leadership first with my skeleton champion. Hmm. A four. That will not work. And then I'll roll to see if Frankenstein's monster can make an attack. A two. Great. Um, fail both of those. Let's see here. Hella is top dial now. I might have to wait until she's Correct. the last one left because it's going to be taking some focus to really knock her down dial. Uh, I've got a 10... I'd have to break away to attack anybody other than those two. Not really a fan of that. Uh, let's start with... Um, what is Heimdall's defense? He's got a 17. He does super senses, but he gets to roll two dice. Okay. Yeah, it's 17. We'll attempt to blade you with good old death here. Uh, he's got a 10 attack with precision strike, so you'll need a 6 on one of those dice. If I hit. Mm. Uh, that's a 17. Um, you got it. All right. Let's try to get lucky here. Ooh. Don't and we did indeed get a six on one of those dice. So we'll be choosing the six as the result. Very lucky. Death will just... I don't know if we'll be able to pull that off too many times. Death Stranding, as he were. Um, oh, geez, stop. Jeez, goodness gracious. Let's, um, man. Let's just go for damage on Hella, because, yeah, that seems like the, the safer option. So we'll double perplex up damage on Frankenstein's monster. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe uh, there we go uh, we'll yeah, double up his damage so he is a 10 into an 18 for 5 hopefully he'll do something here we go that big 8 is where Simeon crit hits and slaughters me did get the 8 though uh, so she'll take 3 damage Uh, technically, she'll go then four, and then she'll heal up one because it's not her KO. So she's on click four now. Just because I can, I'm going to have my skeleton mm. army. I'm going to push my skeleton champion to attempt to attack your uh, fallen warrior again. He was successful last mm. time, okay. so I believe in him. Although I did throw him a perplex last time, so... Maybe without that, he'll fail. Uh, that's a 1 and a 5, so that will not work. And then uh, Dr. Hmm. Frankenstein will attempt to free support him now that he's on click 2. Oh, oh wait. Sure. He's adjacent to an opposing character, so that does not work. That only works for... He is. That only works for... Unless Dr. Frankenstein st says he's got something like that. Uh, it works it's got on only for Frank, right? The other Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein's monster says, yeah. Yeah. Good job, a fallen warrior. Really uh, I will keeping the rabble rousers out. Dr. Frankenstein and my regular skeleton. And... Okay, let's go for another... Yeah. Cool leadership role with Odin. Ah. See if we can get it. Oh, baby, a six. We got it. That's very nice. Maybe Thor can do something this turn. Who knows? Uh, gives us some options. Hell's got one token. Heimdall's got one token. 
Heimdall, pretty pushable, but uh, I would hate for some crazy blades rolls to happen on old death here. It'd be really inconvenient for me. So, let's see. Frank is a big, still on 18. Let's have Hella try to sidestep breakaway. I really need these, these sidesteps. To pen blast him is so much better. That was not a roll. <sighs> these people cannot freaking break away to save their lives. Okay. He is still 8 12 for 3, which is solid. I think we punch Frank with him. Then we have two other people do it. Sure. We'll have Hella punch Frankenstein. She'll be at 12 for 3. Two is 18. She needs a 6 to get two damage off. That is a 7. Eight. Four, one, one, two. Now a 16 with size. All right. Ooh, that is a lot better. Let's have... Let's have this Fallen Warrior push to try to take him out. 10 to a 16. Ooh, there's our six morning. with knockback. With knockback. Does he have charge? No. No? We'll knock him back the one square then. Towards Thor. Uh, and then Thor has a trait that reads. Jesus. Free. Make a close attack, but only to target an opposing character that was already knocked back at least one square by another friendly character this turn. Uh, so Thor is an 11 for three with his Odin's favorite token against Frank. Oh, baby. We pulled it off, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that'll... Uh, it says it's a 4. That sucks. That'll hit a 15. Do you have a 15? No. Of course not. Alright. Well, the knockback thing was still cool. This fallen warrior dies. Uh, that was funny. Um, but Frank definitely does die this turn. Let's have Thor take a costed swing against Frank. What in the world? Okay. Okay, and that is an 11 to a 16 again. We need that 5. We weren't able to do it with the cool thing. We still got the free attack off, which just lets us make another one. That'll smoke Frankenstein. For how much? Uh, for 3 damage. Alright, so another 2. 1, 2. Ah, uh, that's exactly right. Frankenstein dies, so Hella will heal up to click 3. She will get another Rise token. She'll go up to two Rise tokens now. And then she's going to make a Fallen Warrior here. It will charge one square to here. And it will punch Dr. Frankenstein. Mm. Ooh. Mm. An eight should hit and also deal knockback, which is just cool. Uh, she'll go down to one token for that. Oh, he dies, which means she will heal, and she'll go back up to two rise tokens. Sweet. Give him a token. That was three actions so far. Um, we'll have Heimdall try to sidestep breakaway. Four. And we'll clear Heimdall. And that is all. Right. Uh, not really loving my opportunities here. Uh, I have to say, pretty pretty rough turn there. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to break away charge with my skeleton champion, or my not skeleton champion, my mm -hmm. normal skeleton. A two. Okay, he'll just continue doing nothing this game, and I'll sidestep death and push him to uh, precision strike blades on Heimdall and hope mm. gotcha. to do something. So still need a 7. That will hit. Oh, that was going to be a crit hit. Uh, that will hit. We'll roll those 2d6s. It needs to be a 6 and I had to die. 
is double threes, so nope. Super senses will fail. On all Heimdall. Mm -hmm. He may need that big cool. six. Good wow. five. Good five damage. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll take one more because of your trait, and Heimdall will die. Death will go. Very good. A not so great click. Probably not worth it. And then I I have to clear uh, my skeleton champion, who is now very sad, stuck next um, to him. I think Hella heals for that. Let's double check. When a character does invest, yeah, yep. Yeah. So Hella will heal. Hey, Simeon, guess what? Guess what click Hella's on? Uh, I'm assuming one. I remember, It'll be on her I top like click. Two yes, turns two, three, ago, right? I said I should just wait to deal with Hella later, and then I decided mm -hmm. to punch her instead. And now I'm deeply <laughs> regretting all of those actions that I took to deal no damage. Uh, if you would have got your free attack off, then I think it's different. Then you can smoke her for sure. Um, all right, Game Eternal Two leadership with Odin. Okay. Fails, uh, which means all we can pretty much do is make a Fallen Warrior token right here, and we'll have him take a swing on death. Mm. I'm pretty bummed you didn't get any Jacob Marley votes. That's a that's a standout for me. Yeah. The the set. Although choose. playing both skeletons, I'm a big fan of. I like the skeletons. Uh, 11, we'll hit him for two. Two damage. It, it, one, two. Ah. Uh, Lost my precision strike. Now I've got some exploit. Good. Um, that is pretty much all we can do. Odin can't do anything. This token I don't want to push. So yeah. Hella could sidestep. Don't want to mess with anything like that right now. So it's your go. All right. Let's attempt to side or to break the skeleton champion away for charge. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been super successful, and it still isn't. Uh, You've probably made more charge to... breakaway rolls in this game than I've seen like ever. Yeah, between to charge the two of us, and breakaway. I don't think wow. any of us have really. I think I got one sidestep breakaway earlier. Um, I think in the um. In the earlier games, we rolled a lot of charge breakaway, but it hasn't been recent. In the you know non-carded games, we rolled a bunch of charge breakaway, I'm pretty sure, but we've never had this much charge on a team, I don't think, between yeah. our two teams. Well, I really don't have, yeah, I really don't have options see, uh, between killing pogs and uh, trying to get to people I can actually damage with no uh, range. I'm going to try and sidestep death before I clear. He... He does get to sidestep, so we at least can move him somewhere. Let's just go one, two, back here, and then clear my normal skeleton. And I will have to get some really good d6 rolls. Right. Let's uh, sidestep Hella to here. Let's have her blast the skeleton normal just skeleton dude mm. uh 11 to 17. that does indeed Ooh, that will hit for three three aha good i didn't want him to move anymore That doesn't kill him? Darn, what a shame. Okay. Uh, let's have her make a fallen warrior right in front of her. And we'll have him take a swing on him. 10 to 17, 16. 17. With super senses. Now. Ooh. Ah, uh, fallen warrior will miss. My skeleton Five. senses are tingling. One, two, this skeleton coming out of water goes down to a three, charge, round up, three, so two. So yeah, he'll charge to here. Try to kill old death. Yeah. 
Hella needs to go down to only two of these left. Is that a 15? Um, he will... 15? Does that hit? No. Not. Okay. Misses now, so he one. dies. Mm, let's have the skeleton try to break away a charge, because he can't damage that guy. Er, oh, he got it. Let's have him try to take out this skeleton, rear versus skeleton action here. Oh, oh that's cocked. That's cocked it's on that chip. That very nicely strategically placed chip you have. That will miss. That's another five. <laughs> my... Um, I guess we'll just have Thor finally swing, I suppose. First, we'll have Odin sidestep to here. Let's have Thor swing. Thor is an 11. Should hit. Jeez, there it is. All right. Super senses. Skeleton senses say that's a three. He is dead. Good. It is your go. Successfully did nothing. Um, let's see. Is it worth moving my skeleton champion? Probably not, because I have to eat through two bystanders. Oh. So we will when start. When he dies, needs to get another one of those. Uh, with healing death, he is going to regen. Mm. For one. Good, good. Mm. Uh, let's see, where is he at? Skeleton's gone. He heals. One. He's got his precision strike back. Let's just sidestep him behind this rock. He's gonna hide. Mm. And I'm inconvenient. My, my skeleton champion. Who once again does not have indomitable. Uh, and neither does death. Hmm. All right, let's do leadership with Odin. Uh, cool. One, let's have Hela move six to here. Uh, she will for free make a fallen warrior here. Hmm. Down to two. And it'll be a 10 on deaths, 16 still. Let's actually place this Fallen Warrior guy here in case he rolls doubles. That'll hit a 17 for two damage. Two damage. Will that take him out? One. Oh, that was the wrong button. One, two. I'm still alive. Okay. So I'll have, she needs two tokens. Give her it. Mm, let's have Thor charge. One, two, three to here. Second token. He will be an 11 for tree. To my 16. Ooh. Oh. Looks a little cocked. It looks a little funky to me. Yeah, that will for, hit 17 for a whopping for one three damage. so one that involve any rock in those let's just sacrifice these guys see what they can do this guy will push to charge here 10 to an 18. Hmm. Nope, nope that'll miss he dies let's just say the second one is in his spot and get rid of the second one Same thing, 10 to an 18. Oh, 5 and a 9. Nice. Two. For 2 damage. Ah. This guy will die. Worthless. And then we sidestep Thor, or Odin, and it's your turn. All right. Um, don't have sidestep on death anymore. So he will just clear. And 
I will attempt to break away the skeleton champion. Mm. E. Oh, he succeeds. He That's will it. move to there. What an impressive mm. display of power by the skeleton champion. Power play. All right. Let's see if Odin can pull off that leadership. That was a set down. Goodness gracious. These are not real rolls. There we go. Okay. Take a token off of Thor. We're going to take them both off. We'll just put them both back on after this. We'll have Thor take a swing on you. 11 to you, 18. 19. 19. That will miss. Wow, of course he grabs only one token at a time now. Okay, very cool. Um, Let's have the Fallen Warrior bystander push. You try to kill death. Hits a 17 for two. He will do it. He is dead. Uh, let's have Hella sidestep over to here. Thank you for getting rid of my Fallen Warrior. Yes. Let's clear Hella. Um, she'll ain't a fallen warrior. Doesn't matter. Go up to three. Uh, let's have Odin just he'll stay there, whatever. Three go. All right. Uh yeah. D six rolls can't help me now. Uh nothing really can, so we will go ahead and clear my skeleton champion. Hmm. And potentially punch Odin uh, let's have... two damage next turn. Let's have Odin roll leadership. He gets it. Take it off of Thor. Let Thor make an attack. Ah, that will miss. Mm, that'll miss by one, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm a 19. Thor an action token. Let's have Odin roll breakaway. Mm. Nice. Sidestep over to here. Let's have Hella sidestep to here. Let's have her shoot you. One through water doesn't do nothing. So a 11 to your 17. Need that six, Hella. Of course. Very cool. Thank you, Hella. Let's have her make a warrior bystander pog. One, two, three. Go three to here. Hit you. We need to nine. Goodness gracious. A very cool warrior bystander, Pog. Uh, and it is your turn, Simeon. I will <laughs> attempt to crit hit Thor. All right, nice. For one whole damage, so that he is now on invulnerability. Ah, and beautiful. Will miss. Sadly, a three does not do it. Uh, leadership with Odin. See if we can second verse, same as the first, a little bit louder, a whole lot worse. All right, uh, attack with the warrior, fallen warrior, pog, bystander thing. Uh, uh, nice, it'll die. Hello will now take a shot. 11 to a 17, need a six. Hmm. Holy crap. Very cool. That's a five. She will uh, make a warrior bystander. It will charge to here. She'll sidestep to there, I guess. Blah, where did it go? Where did I been putting these guys? There it is. All right. Uh, needs a nine. Oh, hey. baby. That'll do it. Cheeks clapped. All right. Well, another thrilling installment of Thursday Throwdown has come to a close. Remember, you can vote for what figures you want on our teams in our Discord channel, on Facebook, on Twitter, and in the comment section of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Uh, thank you, Simeon. We are now going to be, since there are no more Golden Age sets in like the normal style sets, we will now be doing all the Golden Age indie sets. That's Yu-Gi-Oh, that's Assassin's Creed, that's Lord of the Rings, that's Hobbit, that is all that stuff. 
Uh, the next round, I will be building out of Street Fighter, and Simeon will be building out of Bioshock Infinite. I know what you're thinking. Those don't line up on HC Realms or Clips Nexus. So why did you say it like that, Calder? These sets are a little different. They're a little weird. Their amount of figures in each set are all over the place. The sets themselves are very, very specific to one thing. So Star Trek Ships would have been the next set that had the same amount of figures as Street Fighter did, but clearly those are not balanced sets to have play against each other, nor is it a very interesting thing to watch normal people uh, in their bare feet run around trying to punch ships. Just doesn't make a lot of sense. And not that it doesn't make sense. That's not the reason why. It's just it's not good gameplay. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to kind of choose, pick and choose the sets that go together based on which ones we think have the best matchups. Sets that only have 10 figures to choose from, like Gears of War and Iron Maiden, are probably going to go against each other, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, in the future. We're going to try to start from the furthest back, but we'll go as far up to as close to the future um, if it means that set is the most balanced with the other set, which is why we have the two year or so difference that is between Street Fighter and Bioshock Infinite. Other differences probably won't be this big, um, but that is the way it is right now. So Simeon is building out of Bioshock Infinite. I am building out of Street Fighter. Uh, Street Fighter figures, I guess that would be cool. It's like Dark Ryu, um, Guile, T-Hawk, Balrog, Ken, honestly, everyone. I actually haven't played that much of the set, Chun but Lee. I'll just be happy to play some Street Fighter. Chun-Li, I hate Chun-Li so much. Um, Simeon, who do you want from Bioshock Infinite? Yeah, Bioshock Infinite's got some uh, fun characters like Zachary Comstock. Spoiler, he's the bad guy. Uh, Booker and Liz. Spoiler, Booker's also the bad guy. Um, yeah, there's uh, there's some duo figures. There's a like Fast Forces or whatever the heck it was that also has like a, some random figures that was pretty cool. Um, not a lot of move and attack, so it'll be very heavily on like if I can plant someone somewhere and they can get a shot off. But uh, a lot of cool little power sets and some flavor text and stuff like that in the set. Um, some interesting enemies. Of course, not as interesting as they are in the game, but uh, we do what we can when it comes to Heroclix powers. So, yeah. And as always, happy trails.